Hello and welcome to a new Let's Play TWS video. Um, yeah, it's me again, Taurus fan, and we are currently sitting in the British Rail Class 801, operated by LNER, London Northeastern Railway, as an Azuma service, which basically is just the high-speed train brand used by LNER. The game's currently paused, but I think I'll just Resume it, because I have to show you a few new functions. And um, yeah. Resume. There we are. Currently standing at London King's Cross. Driver's cab activated. Uh, activate. Driver's cab. Forward. Push the action indicate forward. Uh, lights. The lights. And the brakes have to be raised and the brakes have to be released. Brakes released. So, and we're saying Zero. Fifteen. We actually have passengers. Zero. Only fifteen right now, but who cares? We have passengers. <laughs> and hmm, let's close the doors. Doors closed. The speed limit is 37 miles per hour. 3 miles per hour. 22 miles per hour. 37 miles per hour. Automatic speed control activated. And now the train accelerates. So. Hello, and welcome on board this LNER Azuma to York. The next station will be Stevenage. I don't think we'll drive the whole route to York because that's actually quite long, but we'll take the train to Stevenage at least. Um, yeah, the new changes, as you may have heard already, Automat the engine sounds fade in and out. The speed limit is 99 miles per hour, 40 miles per hour, 68 miles per hour, 93 miles per hour, 99 miles per hour. Anyway, I'll just show you now, once again. Fade in. We fade out. Automatic speed control activated. Using the AFB for German automatic control, which basically means Automatic driving and braking control, or automatic, whatever you prefer. <laughs> From outside. Outside. Nine cars. The speed limit is one hundred and twenty-four miles per hour. Inside. Nice. One hundred and three miles per hour. 127 miles per hour. 124 miles per hour. Let's accelerate once again. 124 miles per hour, about 200 kilometers per hour for anyone interested. <laughs> I'm just using the Anglo-American system for obvious reasons because I'm driving a route in the UK, so... Yeah, <laughs> since they use the Anglo-American system in reality, I also do here. If I drive an Austrian or German route right now, then I'd certainly use the metric system. Anyway, as we will be basically traveling through the landscape here for the foreseeable future, <laughs> for the next 44,000 something yards, um, I just think I'll tell you a bit about the game. Yeah. Most of you will. I have read about the game in the Audio Games the Net forum, I think. And many of you will have watched the demo video Moritz and I published three or four months ago. Something like that. I'm not sure when it was exactly, but something like that. And uh, since then there have been quite a few changes, like the fading engine sounds for at least some vehicles, which make the whole experience quite a bit more realistic. And yeah, the performance has been optimized because yeah, we're currently cruising along here with 124 miles per hour and my laptop runs normally. It isn't even loud, so yeah. <laughs> Sounds have been changed. Some for well, some vehicles. They've been converted. I don't know there have been some changes to the sound gap. You can now create sound sources which will be positioned at certain places for modded routes and you can create more 
modded trains with more different Speed power. Speed change to 112 miles per hour in 1640 yards ahead. 118 miles per hour. Let's head to acknowledge the miles per AWS information. But there's speed restriction ahead. And I already decelerated because 12 miles per hour more or less basically doesn't make any difference. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, those are the largest changes. Mm. Yeah, the drive has been reworked. Now the acceleration and deceleration time depends on the weight of the train and the traction force the train can use. So, for example, 300. The speed limit is 124 miles per hour. Or uh, Austrian 1000. 115 miles per hour. 124 miles per hour. Oh, yeah. And of course, gradients also make a difference. But those are only included with multitude, for example, the Benina Bahn from Switzerland. It runs from Tirano in Italy to St. Moritz in Rietia or Graubünden, German. And uh, it's operated by the Region Railway and uh, the maximum gradient of 7% or 7 in 100, <laughs> which is quite a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course, the trains have to brake or accelerate accordingly. And those functions are finally also included in TWS with the realistic calculations behind them. So, yeah, I'm kind of proud of that. Outside. Ha, <laughs>
minor and some major differences, but if you think of the PZB as AWS with a few more functions and of the LZB as ATO with a few less functions, then you are about right. So yeah, <laughs> that's it basically. The LZB has been included with the last update and the PZB has been reworked a bit so that it isn't as sensitive to yeah, driver error, which don't really make a difference. It was too sensitive, also compared to reality. For example, if you press the button too late, then the emergency brakes would be applied, which wasn't realistic in some instances. So yeah, those systems have been reworked. The AWS and TPWS haven't changed at all, and I also don't have sig signals yet for British trains. But I'll include them. If anyone knows how British signals work, aside from the obvious, then please tell me. I'd love to read something about that in order to be able to recreate those things realistically. Because realism is quite important for me, as you might suspect. For some reason, I'm really not sure why you would suspect that. I have no clue. <laughs> I know, I'm annoying everyone around me, but who cares? <laughs> I don't. Ventilation activated. I should Automatic break. speed control deactivated. Brakes released. Okay. Automatic speed control activated. Normal braking power is available as... Because it, it isn't raining, so yeah. Yeah, if it is raining, then the braking power decreases by quite a lot actually depending on how heavy the rain is so yeah <laughs> might watch might want to watch out for that if you're playing the game sometime after the release which i won't say anything about <laughs> for obvious reasons which i have already mentioned quite often but yeah and if any one of you has any ideas for other functions I might want to include, then just tell me. I can't promise anything, but I try to include them. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, realistic functions, of course, should be included, and I'll certainly try to include them. Functions which are not that realistic I can't promise anything. I might include some just for fun if they aren't that much. If I don't have to write that much code for them, but I can't promise anything. Because the game should be a simulation game first and foremost, and everything else comes after that. But yeah, I'd still like to know what you think the functions the game needs, and for what reason. Inside. Inside. Actually, accelerate quite a bit. 127 miles per hour. 137 miles per hour. 134 miles per hour. And now we are a little bit too fast <laughs> for the track, but less than 10%, so we are safe. I just wanted to. To arrive at the destination, and we can test. Of course, we still have 14,200 something uh, yards left. And yes, I show the distance in yards instead of miles, because it just makes more sense, as I also show the distance in meters instead of kilometers when I'm using the metric system. For obvious reasons, because the whole numbers are easier to read than decimal numbers. Or at least I think so. <laughs> oh, and yeah, if you, I mean, you might get an impression from the game here, a little bit. If you have any things you'd like to be able to change, like settings and things like that, then you can also send me a message or write something in the audio games forum or in the comments section below and just tell me about it and I'll. 
see what I can come up with if I decide to include it. Because I value basically every opinion. I mean, the beta team is close, but that doesn't mean that you can you can't express your opinion about the game, and that I won't take it in consideration. It's just it just means that the beta spaces are closed. For obvious reasons, because we have already quite a lot of people, I think 15, something like that. I don't have the exact number in my mind, but yeah, something like that, if I remember correctly. Okay, 9,200 yards. There'll be a station announcement soon, and we'll have to slow down quite soon, I think. <laughs> Outside. Next station. Front. Buffers. We're standing on the front buffers of the train, so if I break now... Automatic speed. The brakes are already applied. Brakes okay. released. This train really Automatic isn't a good example for things like that. Because only the second, third, fifth, seventh and eighth cars are Inside. powered. So neither the first nor the last. And yeah, if I'm standing on the buffers of the first car, then of course I don't hear anything because the engines are one car behind me. <laughs> but yeah, just forgot about that. And that's also why the train is automatic speed control deactivated. Rather the quiet brakes are already applied. Compared to other ones. Brakes released. Automatic speed control activated. In the cab. And I won't play around with the speed because there'll be an announcement soon, I think. Five thousand something yards left. We're quite fast. <laughs> <laughs> just realized. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, 200 kilometers per hour, 124 miles per hour are really quite a lot, I think. But it's fun to drive so quickly. Ventilation deactivated. 2,734 yards ahead. Ventilation activated. 2,461 yards ahead. 2,187 yards ahead. That was the train length counter. We will be shortly arriving at Stevenage. A full and seat service will be provided in first class. Yeah, the announcement and this thing sound, which sounded like windows. Um, was the sign for me that I have to yards ahead. What I'm doing right now. 820 oh. yards ahead. 70. 60. 547 yards ahead. Forty. 328 yards ahead. Brakes released. 25. Release the brakes because I want to do that. 219 yards ahead. Dynamic brakes only. Or electrodynamic brakes, rather. 9 miles per hour or 109 yards ahead. some 15 kilometers per hour for the last 100 yards. 82 yards ahead. Fifty-five yards ahead. Outside. In front of the train. Next station. Now we are standing at the platform. The train's coming in. Sixteen yards the ahead. Door's we ahead. are now at Stevenage. Yes, yeah. Front. Back. Buffers. In front of the train. Next station. Front. So. I think I'll 64. leave the train here. Thanks for watching. And I hope I'll hear from you all again. And you'll send me some ideas you have. Because 
Yeah, doesn't sound like certainly enough for me about them. <laughs> um, yeah. Doors closed. Okay, so the doors. Let's go look around here. I don't know if that's just happened. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Automatic speed control activated. Hello, and welcome on board this LNER Azuma to York. The next station will be Peterborough. Forty-nine thousand and twelve yards. Status monitor deactivated.